ringing All the rest last wave Send the light Hello God's family, welcome to Daily Rima on AGTV The theme for the year is Send the Light Send the Light for Growth and Expansion Acts 13, 47 And we are looking at how Jesus is the light of the world If that is the case when the Bible refers to darkness, what does it mean? Today we're looking at the last component of what darkness means in the Bible. When the Bible refers to darkness, it refers to Satan. Satan. Hallelujah. Let's read Genesis 1, 1 to 3. What does the word of God say? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the faces of the waters. And then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. So, in the beginning, the earth was formless and void, and darkness filled the earth. Darkness there represents Satan, both physical and spiritual. Why do I say this? Satan? That is why the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the deep to keep Satan in check so that when God said, let there be light, light appeared. Hallelujah. So the word darkness in the Bible principally, primarily, refers to Satan. So send the light to those who are under the bondage and the power and the manipulation and the control and the deception of Satan. Hallelujah. Let's read 2 Corinthians 11, 14 and 15. What does the word of God say? And no wonder, for even Satan disguised himself as an angel of light. So Satan disguised himself like an angel of light. Jesus is the angel of light. Sometimes he would disguise himself. He's a deceiver. He pretends. So the word darkness in the scripture fundamentally refers to Satan. So send the light to those who are under the bondage of Satan. Hallelujah. Acts 26 verse 18. To open their eyes so that they may turn from darkness to light, from the power of Satan to God, that they may receive the forgiveness of sins and a place among those who are sanctified by faith in me. So you see, so he's saying that Paul was talking about his mandate when he was converted, that God sent him to open the eyes of the unbelievers and to turn them from darkness to light, from the power of Satan. So the light there refers to God and darkness refers to Satan. So it's to turn unbelievers from Satan, from darkness to light. Hallelujah. John 8, 44. What does the word of God say? How? Darkness refers to Satan. You are of your father the devil, and your will is to do your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks out of his own character, for he is a liar and the father of liars. So, watch the sense mentioned here. They are synonymous to darkness. Murder, lying, who does not speak the truth. So the word darkness refers to Satan. Hallelujah. Ephesians 2 verse number 2. In which you once walked, following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the earth, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience. So talking about our past life, we were dead in sin. We were living in darkness. And the prince of the power of the air refers to Satan. So send the light to those who are under the power and the bondage of Satan. John 8 verse number 12. What does the word of God say? Again, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light, the light of life. If Christ is on the light of the world, who is at the other side, opposite? It's Satan. So Satan is darkness, the darkness of of this world. Revelation 12 verse number 9. And the great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent, who is called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. He was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. 
Hallelujah. So Satan is synonymous to darkness. Send the light to his kingdom. Send the light to his children. Send the light to those who worship him. Those who have allowed themselves to be used by him to, for him to control their lives. Finally, 2 Corinthians 11 verse 14. And no wonder, for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. Dearly beloved, Satan is darkness. Send the light means send the light to his kingdom, his domain, those who submit to him, those who he controls their lives, those he is manipulating, killing, destroying. Child of God, it is our year to send the light. Arise now, no more delays. Souls are perishing, souls are dying. This is the hour, this is the moment. Be a sender of the light. How do I send the light? Number one, pray for sinners every day that they may come to the saving knowledge of Jesus. Number two, go yourself and preach Jesus to them, explain salvation to them, and urge them to be born again. Then number three, let your Christ-like character preach the gospel to them. Be an example to them. And then the next is give towards missions. And then get involved in church planting. Then you'll be sending the light. Thank you very much for being part of today's episode. Same time tomorrow, Daily Rima comes your way. I love you. Send the light now. The blessed gospel light. Let it